on your mark, get set, uh, go. <laughs> Dude, this guy broke my. This is why you gotta bring your own clubs. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and stay tuned because you're gonna wanna see if this video was a complete and utter failure. All right, we have Judah here. Judah, what's your handicap? What do you play? I'm probably between a 16 and 18. Okay, we're gonna transform Judah's swing to look just like Ricky Fowler. You're gonna make me look like... And if you are successful, you win the Ricky Fowler outfit. That's Head legit. Head to tail. That's legit right there. Can we do it in one lesson? I believe in you. I believe in you. Let's do this. All right, first let's, let's see what we have to work with with Judah Swing. How much does he look like Ricky Fowler to begin with? You got kind of the same like body type. So never try to copy somebody's swing. If like, if you look like Ricky Fowler, you probably don't want to copy John Daly's swing. Fair, fair. 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 So he's got the same kind of body chemistry going. And you're an athlete. And I'm ripped. Well, you're an athlete. Okay. okay. You ready to hit a shot? I'm ready. Swing away. Beauty. The first thing we're gonna do is look at Judah's swing compared to Ricky's swing and try to find the similarities and the differences. This way we know what to work on and what to leave alone. Initially, what we're gonna see is the set of positions are vastly different. So we need to get Judah set up looking like Ricky Fowler in his address position. Then as we start the swing, we notice in this position here, Ricky's left shoulder really gets low and towards his right foot. Judah has none of that in his swing. Basically, he has very little turn in his golf swing, and with that, you're gonna get very weak shots that really don't have any distance to them whatsoever. Additionally, we see the head position as the backswing lengthens. Ricky's head actually works down, and Judah's head is actually working up in the opposite direction. So we're gonna begin with Judah Swing getting his setup position good and his shoulder working down, and that will help keep his head in a good position. Judah's always gonna swing his own swing, right? Right. But Ricky does a number of things that are, I mean, world-class, right? And so we want to incorporate that into your swing. But hey, at a 16, it's not gonna hurt you to swing like Ricky Fowler at all. I'll take an improvement on that score all day long. Right? Let's go. And that's not a backhanded compliment. That, that goes for everybody. <laughs> it, it's not gonna hurt to, to try to copy somebody's swing. Sure, sure. No matter how much we copy, it's not gonna be identical. Right. But it's gonna be it's gonna look good right. when we're done. All right. In order to make changes in our golf swing, we must create massive exaggerated feelings. That's what we're doing here. Here, hold do it, push that, push it together. And what we're doing as he's Judas pushing that ball together like this, it's creating a muscle memory and tension here in his in his hands. So push push it back, and I'm pulling you down, okay, as you go. Good, because we want this down here at the same time. That's great. Feel that? That's what we want. We want to feel that resistance because we're trying to get that shoulder down, shoulder down. Good. Now as you go back, Judah, I really want you to take it back. And, and go down. Doing this ball drill is a fantastic way to work all sides of your muscles, which will develop faster muscle memory. Keep going. So I'm just gonna hold his knee because it's starting to get a little, there you go. There you go. Keep turning that hip. Great. The easiest things to start off with are gonna be the setup and that first move. It's like once we get started in the right direction, a lot yeah. of other things just fall into place. Yeah. Right. Working up a sweat. <laughs> So now I want you to do that and I want you to release and throw the ball to hit the screen right here. If you want to work on getting your body in that proper spine angle at impact and having an awesome release like Ricky Fowler, then this type of drill would be perfect for you. We might be done quick. <laughs> You're doing great. I love it. So what now I want to do is in order to really start to ingrain what we're doing, we're gonna use a swing stick. It's heavy, heavier okay. than the club. Okay. So it's more exaggeration. We're also gonna work on your grip a little bit because your grip is getting you kind of, mm -hmm. you're not gonna create swing speed with that. Yeah. Okay. All right. So set up. So as you 
do is I'm gonna just fix your grip. Why? I'm, like, I'm choking down. Normally, I don't like messing with grips too much, but in Judah's case, his grip is incredibly weak. And as you see here, it's the root cause of many of his problems. One, his setup position. Two, he gets wide open at the top of his backswing. And it really prohibits him from generating the club head speed he's capable of. And if we want to get him looking like Ricky Fowler, this is a must. Plus, it will benefit him throughout his game. A lot of people, what they do is they get back here and they try to hold that wrist angle, which you see, right? Right. You saw that. That's great. But it's not from him actually trying to hold it. He's actually just swinging it. He's actually releasing it, it, the club head. So from here, he's dropping it down, turning his hip, and he's actually releasing that. But it's, since his hands are moving, it just looks as though it's like this, even though he's in re full release so that he releases, has full extension, and it pulls him up. And he does a little like this. He's got a little waggle. Yeah. So let's get... Why, yeah, why, 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 why not have a waggle? Have the waggle. Why not have a waggle? So All just right, get in there. Just kind of... Get up there. Wider, little wider stance. Yeah. Wags yeah. Give me that waggle. There you go. Good. Tilt that. Tilt. Ooh, I love that. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Um, and see if we're any closer. The key fundamentals I want is that set up position. And let's just focus all our energy right now on that front shoulder down to your back toe. Let's have a look at this. So our first look with Judah and Ricky after some massive changes shows that, well, we still have a lot of work to do, but we've got Judah in a much more athletic and strong position, but we've moved closer to looking more like Ricky Fowler. The goal here is take a backswing and, and come down here. That's where I want you to go right now. It's okay? down and dirty. I want your head look, getting lower by like, feel like it goes a foot lower on your backswing. Great. While we're working on changes, I could care less where the ball goes. I wanna know, does Judah's head stay down? And as he takes his backswing here, you can see that yes, his head does stay down a la Ricky Fowler. Here we go, stage one is complete. So now we're just spending a little bit more time reinforcing those moves and trying to create more width in Judah's golf swing, which means getting his hands farther away from his body and from where the ball is. One of the problems is Judah's really getting low in, in, in your setup, mm -hmm. okay? Which is not, it's not bad, but when you, when you start low, you're gonna come up. Right. But, so I want you tall with a little knee bend, more side bend here. Okay. Right? So then you don't, you can't really come up. You can go, you can go down. And so as you go down, you're putting a lot more of the swing into your, uh, your right butt down in here. I hope this works. Here we go. All right. Fix your grip. I, I really want Why? like almost straight legs, bend, and then add just a slight knee bend. Good. And your number one goal is that left shoulder and whenever, uh, whenever you're ready. So what you do is you come in here and grip with your left mm -hmm. and then you put your right on. That's right. Okay, we want, for you, I want that right hand to come in first so that you're tilting your shoulder down to get down there and then put your left hand on. Okay. Oh, I love that, all right. See, our shoulders are where we want them. Great, that's great. See how your head, your head's going way that way. way. So I want your head to feel like it goes that way. Okay. So on your forward swing. So your head's gonna feel like you take it back and then I want your head to, to move this way, mm -hmm. okay, as you swing. You don't have a problem getting your weight to your left side, but your head definitely kind of leads yeah. the charge. Yeah. So we want our head to, to stay back, and it will actually, it won't move that way, but I want you to feel like it's moving that way backwards. So as we come back, your hands, we want your hands to be really tight to your body here mm -hmm. without this. Okay. Okay. So we're, we're getting here. And that, all this helps, Judah, 
keep your shoulder. See how it forces your shoulder to where we want it? Mm -hmm. Phase two is working on that classic Ricky Fowler backswing, where the hands are tight to the body and that club head stays outside of the hands. This is an awesome way to swing the golf club, but can feel very uncomfortable if you do the exact opposite most of the time. So we're doing everything we can do to force Judah to get that feeling. So we swing, we look at the swing, we swing some more, we adjust, and we continue this process over and over and over. Grab this bag with your left hand. Mm -hmm. What do you do? Yeah. You now, what'd your right shoulder do? Mm -hmm. Went back. Yeah. Yep. So do that again. That's your swing. Straighten this out. Good. You're just reaching. There you go. There it is. Straight. Straight knee. And then keep that knee straight. There it is. And you're going to have that exact feeling in your golf swing. Remember, it's that same feeling. You're reaching and extending. Wait for me. On your mark, get set, uh, go. <laughs> Dude. That was great. I just broke your club. That's all right. I love it. Come no, here. It's... You know what? It ain't a party until somebody breaks something. Come on. <laughs> Jesus, guy. You get a little behind the ball. <laughs> Look, look at your swing. I don't look at that. Setup's great. The setup looks really good. Dude, that looks great. Yeah. I mean, come on. Yeah, like significantly better. Let's look at your head. I love what we were doing. You're right on the line. Yeah. Your shoulder, front shoulder is pointed to your back toe. Yeah. That's beautiful. This guy broke my This is why you gotta bring your own clubs. Okay, uh. so what what Judah did, he did so much great. You, so far, it's world of difference already. Yeah, I feel it. And so it, it you're definitely, your timing's gonna be off. Your release points are a mess. <laughs> Clearly. But that happens to me too. Like I shank, when I take lessons, I shank balls. Um, I don't break clubs, <laughs> but I shank balls. So we're, we're doing good. Yeah. So let's, let's. <laughs> Let, let's fix what we just destroyed. Let's keep swinging, we're good. All right. Those are, those are, I can get a new one of those. <laughs> Look, I don't mind if you break my club, if you have a good swing which you did. And that's, he's, he earned a Ricky Fowler hat <laughs> after that one. So he's already got the hat. That was really good. So now we know Judah is capable of massive changes. So we're going to continue to reinforce those feelings shot after shot after shot and just spend a good amount of time reinforcing everything. We spent a lot of time just working on just knee, shoulder down. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the, and you've come so far. Already your six iron went from 150, and I played with you, and that's hmm, generous, uh, <laughs> to 180, 180 carry average. Yeah, yeah. A little bit more than that, come on. I was like well, 180. I, he got a couple of 189. Yeah. It's average. Average. Average, average. whatever. <laughs> so good. Okay, so the other piece is really this extension after impact. Mm. Ricky's just, he kind of in here and fully extended. Now yeah. that's, world-class move so but if we can get you a little bit closer to that yeah then you you are currently i mean again you're gonna you're gonna bump it up to like 195 maybe with that thing yeah so once the backswing is feeling good and we're ingraining that muscle memory now we start working post impact and if we can get a good post impact position that will lead us into that classic ricky fowler follow-through which is just pretty to watch and it's shot after shot after shot and readjustments and more readjustments just to make sure everything is perfect every single time. What we're trying to get Judah to do right now is he has the tendency to not release the club until it's right around here and then he just releases it early. So what we're trying to do actually is get him to release it way up here. So it gets out in front of him here instead of being way behind him, because then the club's wide open, and you gotta be perfect to get that. So we want that release to come earlier here, and then from there, it would actually have a better impact position longer. After over an hour and a half of massive, uncomfortable changes, now it's time to move on to see exactly what his club path is doing. And when Judah can see the direction of his club path and his club face, now he is able to make subtle changes just by thinking about them. And this dramatically improved his ball striking. All right, Judah, we've worked for 
Couple hours? Couple hours, yeah. Couple of, you're sweating? I am sweating. You wore a coat today, <laughs> whatever. Not a, not a bright idea. All right. This is, the, this is the Ricky Fowler moment. The moment of truth. Can you put it all together in your best Ricky Fowlerness? Can you swing and look like Ricky right here, right now? I'm gonna try. It's not an easy task. Oh. <laughs> he said he'd try? I'm, I'm gonna do it. That I'm going to do it. There we go. Thank you to Mr. Short Game. Channel your inner Ricky here, Judah. Here we go, Ricky. Anytime you're ready, let her fire. All right, what do you guys think? Has Judah earned the Ricky Fowler? As my wife says when we're watching football, she's like, I don't like their costumes. <laughs> um, baby, those are <laughs> uniforms, they're not costumes. Have you earned the Ricky Fowler uniform? I need a little fan love on this one. I think, I think you came a long way. You went from 156 iron, right? to over 180. That's huge. And huge, and we've, you've done a lot. I think Judah has, has earned the Ricky Fowler. You, you, you feel like I have? 110%. Well, let's go. Let's do it. What do you think? What do you so think? Look at this Ricky Fowler imposter right here. I feel like Ricky Fowler right now. Come on, baby. Oh my goodness. All right. I'm coming for you. That was your best, that was your longest shot since you've been here. Of the day. I, I think the outfit, because <laughs> he just rocked out 190. I just channeled Ricky Fowler. You channeled your inner Ricky Fowler and your outer Ricky Fowler. That was beautiful. Great job, Judah, or should I say Ricky? Fowler, come on, baby. Ricky Judah Fowler. That's your, uh, I would call it the uh, Extreme Makeover Golf Swing Ricky Fowler Edition. Thanks for watching, love you guys. Peace. Share this video with one of your friends. So you need a Mr. Short Game Makeover. Bring it, get it done. Peace.